Most plankton are too small to see without a microscope. Only when you zoom in on a water sample can you see just how diverse these creatures are and how many can fit in a small amount of water. Each of the video clips you're about to see shows a small portion of a microscope slide made from a single tiny drop of either fresh water or salt water. They magnify 200 to 1,000 times their actual size. The green things zooming around here in the salt water sample are a type of algae called tetracelmus. Algae are also called phytoplankton. Like plants, they use the sun's energy to turn carbon dioxide into sugars. This is called photosynthesis. Let's zoom in on this sample to 1,000 times larger than life size. Do you see the clearish creature swimming around with the tetracelmus? That's a single-celled animal called a ciliate. It seems to be too small to eat the algae, so instead it's probably eating bacteria in the water. Ciliates are a type of zooplankton or animal plankton. The creature here is another kind of zooplankton called a rotifer. Like the ciliate you just saw, it doesn't seem to be interested in eating the green tetracelmus cells, so it's likely feeding on bacteria as well. The red-orange dot you see is the eye spot it uses to detect light. Here's a different type of rotifer from a different water sample. See how it's attached itself by its foot to a strand of algae? And yes, in case you're wondering, that tail-like thing really is called a foot, even though it doesn't look like your foot. Like that rotifer, this trumpet-shaped ciliate, called a stentor, has anchored itself to a clump of algae or debris in this freshwater sample. Ciliates are single-celled animals named after the hair-like cilia they have around their bodies. They wave the cilia around their mouth to create a current that sucks in food. You can really see that vacuum effect happening with this ciliate. It looks like it's tasting different types of algae nearby. One incredible fact about stentors is that they're capable of something called regeneration. That means a completely brand new animal can grow from a small piece of another stentor. These ciliates can also move very quickly, pulling their body into a ball if they bump into something unknown or if they taste something they don't like, like this one just did. Those hair-like cilia aren't just used for eating. This stentor is using its cilia to swim. Perhaps it's searching for a new place to feed. The line you see there is the edge of the cover slip. That's the thin, square piece of glass that you put over a drop of water to make a microscope slide. Here's another kind of zooplankton from a sample of pond water. This is yet another kind of rotifer, known as a deloid rotifer. It's trying to eat the round phytoplankton cells called diatoms. The diatoms have a defense, though. If you look closely, you can see these thin, sharp spines surrounding each cell. One of the weirdest facts about these rotifers is that they are only female. No one has ever found a male deloid rotifer. The bizarre creature here is a young polychaete worm. Polychaetes, believe it or not, are relatives of earthworms and leeches. Its many feet are actually called parapodia. You can see its two eyes near the front of its head, but what's that strange dark shape behind them? Is that its brain? Actually, those are the polychaetes' jaws. Watch how they move. And do you see how its innards are kind of greenish? What you're seeing is its algae-filled gut. You can tell that this nematode, a roundworm, has also been eating algae because its gut is green. Not all algae are green, though. The algae in this sample, which was taken from a saltwater aquarium, are pinkish-red. They're actually a kind of photosynthetic bacteria called cyanobacteria. Each waving string you see is a chain of hundreds, even thousands, of cells. Another word for string is filament, so these algae are called filamentous cyanobacteria. Notice their spiral shape? These particular filamentous cyanobacteria are called spirulina because of that. They even move with a spiraling corkscrew motion. Those red filamentous cyanobacteria, the spirulina, are so thick here that this nematode is struggling to push its way through. Want to learn more about plankton? Visit the Ask a Biologist website for stories, photos, and more including a Zoom gallery that gives you your own virtual microscope. The address is askabiologist.asu.edu.